Hello, 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 everybody. This is Tony, CEO, founder of Tony Luxury Car Rental. Just making another video for my YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you guys who are new to the channel, let me go ahead and introduce myself first before I get started with this video. Uh, like I said, my name is Tony. I'm 35 years old. I'm located in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, about two years ago, I quit my job to be an entrepreneur. I started doing two on Airbnb full time. I got very successful very fast. I uh, make six figures a year doing both. Um, for those of you guys who have been following me, following my journey, you guys been keeping up, you guys know that um, I've been having a lot of issues lately, okay? Every day is something. It's like I can't, ca I can't catch a break, so like God is really testing me right now. Um, every day I'm having issues with my cars, okay? With renters, uh, abusing my cars, speeding, racing, doing burnouts, donuts, uh, messing up my cars, wrecking the cars, the list goes on and on. So right now, you know, I have a 17 car fleet, I'm down like four cars right now. Um, so I got one car that's in the, that's in the shop. My Durango SRT is in the shop, getting, uh, got wrecked about a couple months ago. It's still in the shop getting fixed. I got two other cars that's down right now, mechanical issues. Uh, I'll make a video about that coming up next. And then I got this car right here. Okay, so this car, I just got back. So this is my 2016 uh, Chevy Camaro convertible. And I just got this car back. And as you can see, y'all, uh, it's damaged. Um, the passenger side is damaged. So the whole uh, looks like rear view mirror is broke, is damaged. Um, the door, you can see, is messed up. Uh, come on over here and you see the quarter panel. So this whole quarter panel right here is also uh, damaged, as you can see, okay? So I'm very upset right now, very frustrated because I cannot catch a break. It's like every day is something. So let's go ahead and walk around. Um, the rest of the vehicle look intact, looks okay. Uh, no damages, no issues. But yeah, so I uh, just got this car back today and the vehicle is wrecked, y'all. And I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to tell you guys why I'm kind of upset and frustrated um, about this uh, renter. Okay, so this customer had the car for the weekend, so it had for like three days. And uh, they were speeding in the car. They were successfully speeding, going 116 miles per hour. A lot of hard brakings, rapid acceleration, stuff like that, okay? The reason why I know this is because I have a app on my phone. It's called Bouncy. I have a tracking device. And I go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. Um, this right here. So this is my, this is Bouncy. Um, that's the app that I use. I have that in all my vehicles, okay? Um, with this app, you know, I can see everything. Um, I can see, you know, it show, it go ahead and show you. So here's the vehicle right here. I can see the gas, the battery level, uh, the check engine lights on, and then I get notifications anytime somebody's speeding. So you can see when you have my vehicle, um, I got two alerts of them speeding going over 100 miles per hour in this car. All right. So you can see one of them, uh, look at this, 21 times, uh, did hard braking 21 times, rapid acceleration 16 times. So just driving a vehicle really, really aggressive, fat, pulling off really fast, stopping really fast, really hard. Um, that's very, very bad. Most of my customers, uh, this is zero. It's zero times, okay? So that's one issue. And then you come over here to the other one. As you can see, um, I got another notification that same day. Come right here and you can see 116 miles per hour, okay? And you guys can see that or not, but 116 miles per hour, which is crazy. And then come right here, hard braking 10 times, uh, rapid acceleration four times, okay? So, uh, I'm Customer was basically speeding, uh, driving real reckless in his vehicle. Um, I did text them, I did call them, I asked them to slow down. Uh, they said they go to slow down, they're not gonna drive like that no more. And I get the car back today and the car is wrecked, y'all, okay? So I'm very upset, very frustrated uh, about this because I have other cars that's down and now this car's down. So I got like four cars that's down right now and I can't make no money if the car's down. So, and this is the worst time because right now you got prom uh, coming up, derby, uh, a lot of holidays, summertime. So it's like, it's the peak season. That's why I make my money, okay? So now I got to put this in the shop and I can't make no money until I get it fixed. So very frustrated about that, y'all. Um, so this kind to show you guys i already did the claim on her and i already uploaded some photos on the app just kind of show you guys you know uh uploaded uh some pictures of the damages and stuff like that you guys can see uh did you know took plenty of photos um to do the claim report so to where can see you know the before and after pictures and stuff like that um i also took pictures of the you know the driving habits you know all the hard braking rapid acceleration um i put that on there as well so to where can see so everything is documented, okay? So, you know, so I've done my part. Um, and then of course, uh, 
um, the car is drivable, so um, I don't have to get it towed. So I'm gonna drive it to my body shop tomorrow, get an estimate, um, see what it costs to get this vehicle fixed. And then after that, the next process is I'm going to either get the customer to pay for it. Um, if they don't want to pay for it, then I'm gonna go ahead and do a claim on Turo. Uh, Turo is gonna pay for it and then go out there to guess, okay? So the only issue is, is that, you know, I am on the 90-10 plan, y'all, which means that I'm on the highest plan Turo has to offer, which means my deductible is $2,500, okay? Looking at these damages, it's probably not going to cost that much. It's probably going to be, I'm just guessing, maybe $1,000, $1,500, something like that. So it's going to be less than my deductible, okay? So a situation like this sucks because, you know, the damages is less than my deductible. Now, if the car is stolen or if the car is totaled out, then they'll pay the car off minus my deductible. Situations like this where it's, you know, minor damages, it's less than my deductible, then it kind of sucks, okay? So at this point, my only option would be really is to try to get the guests to pay for it or use my own insurance to do a claim, which I don't really want to do that either, okay? So hopefully, you know, I can get the guests to pay for these damages because I really don't want to do a claim on two row because, you know, this is under the $2,500 deductible, okay? So I'm probably going to be taking a, a loss here. And then loss of use, you know, with the, all the days the vehicle's going to be down, I'm not going to be making any money, so which sucks too because right now it's, it's picking up, it's busy, and so I'm going to be losing money every day this vehicle is down and sitting, okay? So so that because you got to see what the parts are in and stuff like that. So that's another thing that kind of sucks, okay? So right now I'm in a lose-lose situation, you know, with this vehicle. So um, I already did a claim on Turo. I already gave the customer a, a low star, a bad review because for one like i said they were speeding in my car racing in my car hard braking and then they got they wrecked the vehicle and they didn't even tell me until they returned the car so they didn't they didn't even notify me didn't even call me and text me say anything at all so uh, i'm very frustrated about that you know and so just stomped out when they returned the car and he wrecked the car okay so very frustrating right now very hard times right now um, very frustrated irritated it's like every day is something uh can't catch a break right now uh dealing with these cars you know but i know it's part of the business you know got to take the good with the bad um because there'll be times where i go weeks and months without any issues at all and now every day it's like i'm having issues with these cars okay so just gonna make this video just kind of talk about it to kind of show you guys like i said this is my you know 2016 chevy camaro convertible it looks like he hit something. He claimed the car was parked and somebody satisfied him, but I think he hit something and just didn't want to be honest and man up and own up to what he did. So regardless, he was responsible. He rented the car, so he has to get it fixed, okay? So I'll let you guys know how it turned out. Um, we'll be doing like updates once I get the vehicle fixed. Let you guys know, you know, how long it took, uh, how much it costs, you know, stuff like that. So uh just a little frustrated right now like i said because every day something's going on every day can't catch a break but i'm trying to smile trying to stay positive think positive kind of be happy about the situation because it could have been a whole lot worse okay so uh so just want to make this video talk about it show you guys so um so thank you everybody for watching my videos for subscribing you know i just hit 2,000 subscribers uh just hit 4,000 watch hours i'm finally monetized on youtube so i appreciate all the support from everybody i really do and anybody who's new to this channel uh, if you like content like this please uh like this video uh subscribe to my channel hit that notification button i will be posting content like this all the time so please like share this video subscribe and i will be posting content like this all the time and before i let you go um, i am doing one-on-one -on -one consultations so if you want me to teach you the game about Turo or Airbnb or credit, uh, click on the link in the video if you want to book a session for me for a very small fee. So I appreciate it, guys. And again, like this video, share, uh, hit the notification button. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll let you guys know how this turned out.